What's up, Panda Gang? Welcome back to the Tiny Terra map. We're playing Spain, eight civs on the tiny four-person map. As Spain, of course, we're trying to colonize. I think we did a pretty good job of that second continent, although there was a coupe in this game, which I did not plan for, and they've got themselves a lot of that second continent. Up to the very north, there might be a little bit of free space, but it's far out of my reach. In the last episode, I was preparing for a war. I've made some nice alliances here. With the Americans, I've got a cultural alliance so that our loyalty with them is shared. And then with the Vietnamese, I've got a military alliance just waiting for um, the Koreans to declare war on them yet again or the other way around. And then we're going to be going after the Koreans. The reason is, is take a look at religion here. So we are Confucius. We did not get a religion in the beginning of the game. We were a little bit too slow. Arabia here, their special ability is that... Oh, sorry, that's Norway. Arabia right here. Their special ability is that... When there's one great prophet left, they will get that prophet. So, we were a little bit too slow. Um, and as Spain, the conquistador. This guy right here, our special unit, which we just got. We just got like three or four of these guys. If it captures a city, that city automatically becomes Confucius. So, if we don't take Korea and we conquer other people, people we're just going to spread Confucianism and give this guy way too much power with his religious victory. Anyways, the solution... We've got battering rams, we've got conquistadors. These guys are gonna head up the east side. That should be good to grab Yang San. And I've got crazy naval power now. I got myself an ironclad from a great person, a great admiral. Uh, I've got a frigate armada, a caravel armada, and a caravel fleet. Dude, these Spanish are actually insane. So I misread this before, but you can form fleets and armadas with mercantilism instead of nationalism and mobilization so not only can you get fleets but also armadas so you're like two errors ahead on the power here if we look at let's say this caraval fleet next to cordoba 72 melee strength if i had look at this ironclad 70 melee strength so this thing a whole era behind but is even stronger anyways the plan is to keep growing the army modernizing it a bit i need to do some upgrades gonna wait for a card to lower the cost on that but i see a battering ram needs to be done industrial era there we go we have factories we have coal power plants and there's coal and i'm so happy to see that we've got this little leaf notification on the right hand side we've discovered coal let's go so it's underneath this industrial zone that's sweet i don't need to improve anything and then it's right here and do we already have a mine here i believe we do we move these units out of the way. Yes, we do. Okay, so we got lots of coal coming in already. That's perfect. I mean, that said, we've actually been a little proactive with industrial zones. We've got one complete in Bilbao, which covers all of these northern cities. We've got one underway in Salamanca. Yes, it has finished its workshop as well. This covers all of the cities on the colony. And then finally, we'll need one more industrial zone out in the south and another coal. Perfect. Good to see. This final Toledo industrial zone, not yet complete. <clears throat> I swapped over to walls at the end of the last episode just because I was a little bit worried about this Korean caravel being around, and I just don't want to have to worry about defending my colonies while I'm going to war elsewhere. It could distract me. Anyways, with all these buildings, I would like to buy myself a factory, buy myself a coal power plant. The thing is, I'm not as rich as I once was. I spent about 3,000 gold upgrading units it was absolutely an insane spending spree but we'll get a factory in bilbao so that these home cities get a little boost everyone's getting plus three uh production per turn which is nice i think we go for steam power next to unlock the ironclad so that i can have ironclad um armadas and then just raise any city i want to the ground it's gonna be a little tough getting up to the koreans as well exploration there we go merchant republic as you see nalanda they stand between me and i can't even navigate their waters man just because uh, I don't suzerain this city state. If you look at influence by, people here are putting 12 envoys in here. I don't have 12 envoys to put somewhere. That's just too much. Anyways, we've got that new government. Let's slap this in here. Merchant Republic. Yes, please. It gives me error score. I don't need uh, Ritwins anymore, but instead I need Professional Army for that discount on all those upgrades. Then we glide Colonial Offices to get a bit more food off continent. And then finally, one last card we want trade confederation for that science and culture or do we want more production we could even get more gold hmm. you know what? we're building tons of walls let's grab grab limes real quick and then we can quickly duck out of that for next tech let's go with colonialism obviously because that's the game we are playing here baby with these cheap improvements to siege tower only cost 40 gold definitely doing that and i see i've got 
some archers that can become a crossbowman. We've got another archer in Salamanca. You can be a crossbowman. Barcelona. So these cities are actually pretty well protected just in case Coupe turns on me. This guy's known to be a bit of a warmonger. And with my units being fully upgraded, I think it's time to just send them up north. Takes six turns to get there. I'm thinking the Americans got some kind of nice uh, logistical train system or something. That is great. Okay, looks like a lot of ancient walls got finished that turn. Bilbao, Salamanca, Valle de Lid, Cartagena. Barcelona, Toledo, not far behind. So we'll be able to swap out those cards pretty soon. I've got, a, I've got an easy Civic to switch back into when it's time for that. Going to go with universities, and I'm just going to buy out all these factories for the production cities. Uh, I just have so much gold, might as well spend it and save my production. Another Conquistador built in Seville. This dude's headed up north, and we'll grab some more. How long does it take to build one of these guys? I feel like it was five turns before, only six turns. That's pretty quick. Ancient walls complete in Toledo. That's wonderful to see. And do any other ancient walls need to be made? One more in Barcelona. Let me swap out these cards real quick. We'll get nationalism. It takes literally two turns so we can get rid of uh, that double building towards walls. Also, last for the army to be upgraded. We got ourselves a pikeman. So we can get rid of that card too. What is this? We've lost to Janet of Lahore. No. That's too bad. Who came through, huh? Wait, no, it's still me. They're lying, they're lying. This city doesn't really do too much for me, but uh, I guess it's better than having nothing. Okay, now we can go back to colonialism, but we got ourselves a government swap. I'm gonna get conscription for that little bit of gold, and we don't need limes anymore, so we can get naval infrastructure. Crazy amounts of, crazy amounts of gold's coming in here. Save this up, and it won't be too hard to buy out factories and coal power plants. I think that's the next plan, plan in Bilbao is to buy a coal power plant. Get the means looking for a friendship. That's perfect, man. Let's keep that up, and I'll make sure to secure our military alliance. It's still there, this is fantastic. Can we get some gold too? I wish I can get some gold out of the AI. Uh, they're pretty friendly most of the time. Unlike these Islam apostles, bye-bye. Campus complete in Bilbao, that's fantastic. Library, shipyard for sure, that coal power plant. Let me just purchase that out with gold. That's gonna give tons of production to all my surrounding cities here. Helps with the war effort and just generally buffing up these most productive cities. They don't get those huge trade bonuses that the colonies get, so it's important that uh, they get something. There we go, billowing smoke. We're finally burning coal, fantastic. Let's take a look at the world climate. Who else is burning coal? Well, it seems a lot of people are, but I am right in the start. I've already burned 13. Hey, good for me. Let me give Sejong a little denunciation, see how that goes for me. And I'll look around to my allies to see if there's any ideas, like would you want to go to war with this dude? I don't see any options for a uh, joint war, that's too bad. I guess I should go back to Sejong and see who he's friendly with and not the Americans he's not a fan of. That's good, make a deal, joint war with Sejong. Ooh, you're down, eh? Don't give me gold too. Okay, just let me get set up and then we'll kick this off, my man. Next conquistador coming through. Send him up north to LA. Gonna have a good time up there. It takes 10 turns though, quite a while. Steam power unlocked, dude, we got the ironclads. This is gonna be huge. Railroads. Uh, I kind of want to get myself a railroad here in Seville, but buying a military engineer is a little bit expensive right now, especially when I gotta go to Salamanca. It's a purchase. Oh, factory. We're just a little bit shy on that, but we gotta improve some fellas here. This Caravel fleet, that costs 500 gold. My goodness, that's not half price. We'll wait for another one of those half price cards, that is for sure. Next for tech, we go all the way for flight, because you need this for the radio and aluminum. That's your last uh, theater square building. I want to get research lab too, but mostly flight for the military. The biplane will be sweet and the ability to make airstrips. Just have a little bit of extra attack. You know, when you're going to war far flung distances away, that will be clutch. Salamanca's done the university. Okay, perfect. We can say build a shipyard and we have just enough gold now to get a factory. Although crap, I need to upgrade my units. Let's put a timer on how long to already. Those like conquistadors will be in position in maybe three, four turns. I need to switch out technologies. Hmm, diplomatic service. I won't be able to buy this factory. I just need to have, you know, gold in the bank. So maybe something like I just build the factory itself. It is going to take a while, but it is what it is. We've even got apostles up here now. If we take a look at the special abilities here, the conquistador, you get plus 10 combat strength if you got a religious unit within one hex of yourself. So having this apostle up here, going to make my guy an absolute beast what is this colonialism by spain dude i gotta check this out right now that was because astrology finished up i got myself a little bit of a eureka we're still working towards diplomatic service but where is colonialism we got raj for city state things 
We've only got one sewage though, but we have colonial taxes. 25% more gold and 10% more production in those colonial cities. That is ridiculous. Just look at these numbers here, man. 12 production, 68 gold. That is wild. Because you got to keep in mind, I swear this is compounding on top of those trade routes we had, right? We'll lock this in along with those unit discount uh, for the upgrades. Get myself a couple ironclads out here. Hello. Oh, that's a frigate. That's not ironclad. Ironclad one. Ironclad two. Much more affordable. And it is time to send our dudes up to the north. With that colonialism too, I think I got some envoys. I got three now. Dude, I have enough to suzerain Nagazagamu here on the backside of Korea. That would be quite the rabbit out of the hat should we decide to surprise him with this. Banking unlocked. Okay, that's better than nothing. Diplomatic services. I don't think I need anything there. Change policies. Let's get rid of professional army. I'm actually going to go with veterancy. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. I'm going to go with... Yeah, let's go with veterancy. I was thinking uh, raid for some pillaging. But let's first check what's what are the pillages going to be like. Okay, this is actually really good. A Seowon. Is this a spaceport? No, industrial zone. Okay, I was like, wow, that's a really good spaceport already. So, so quick. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to get raid. Keep the rest locked in. And let's see if we can convince some people to do some stuff this turn. Go to the Americans, say, let's make a deal, buddy. Joint war on Sejong. You're going to give me lots of gold, too. Fair enough. Accept this deal. Let's go. Nice. So we got the war going on. Um, what about my military ally? Will they also join in here? Join ongoing war with Sejuan. What will it take? Nothing. Nothing you will do to join this. I swear you hated this guy. Anyways, this does mean we can now saunter on in here with my apostle standing here. Let's take a look on the bottom right side. 58 bait strength. I got that battle card promotion. 10 combat strength. When you're near a religious unit, that's sweet. Boom, shoot him one time, down to 58 health. My other conquistador just slowly coming in the top side here. It's going to be a slow grind, and we're going to get lots of pillages. That is the goal. As for getting through Nalanda, dude, I have to declare war on these guys. I don't want to, but it's the only way to get through these dang waters. My bad, guys. My bad. Please let me through. My goal is just for my guys to survive, not get shot by the city. Oh, and I swear there's a Korean. Yes, there's a Korean caravel chilling in these lands we don't like that at all do we if we went up and straight up fought them it might not go so well for us so i'll keep my uh, frigate near my traders but all these cities have walls now so i don't need to worry too much i don't have to stress about what's going to happen there as for sanju though we're pulling up we got our dudes in the vicinity I wonder if we could take this by force through the seas and what is this cincinnati bro why are you here like i understand we're cultural allies but you can't just go and settle right behind me on my coal that was a real dirty move, man. All right, with our new turn, let's get our quadrireum and our galley back to port. We can improve this guy all the way to an ironclad in just one turn. That's sweet. If I check out on the coal, we're using three per turn for units. Now, last episode, you remember, I tried to finesse some money, some resources, by upgrading an armada instead of upgrading an individual quadrireum. It did not work. But in terms of consumption, I believe a armada or a fleet consumes the same amount of power as just a regular dude. As you see that we have three ironclads, if I hover over cool, we're doing minus three, four units. Speaking of those units, Nalanda, we're gonna cruise right by you, pretend you're not even existing, because dude, I don't wanna don't wanna hate on this guy. Let's make peace in nine turns and then uh, pretend this never happened. In Sanju though, we're gonna shoot with the frigate. Uh, any of these ironclads in range? Not quite this guy can though. Boom! Big hit, barely took any damage. I bet my ironclad could 1v1 the guy and win. In Yangsan, we're gonna start cracking at the city. I got my siege tower, I got my apostle. Everybody's getting in, getting some work in these days. On the north side, we're doing the pillaging though. 186 science, that's huge. Whole turn worth of the science. So that was offense. I'm seeing there's some defense to be done. City ranged strike. We've not lost any traders, but we've got a caravel right here. Luckily, they've walked right into our double range strike, triple from the frigate, and that is that right there, man. Nothing more to worry about in Seville. We're going to continue with the Conquistadors. Just produced one last turn. We'll keep sending those dudes north, north, north. And uh, deal with these Koreans. So I'm seeing a little bit of damage go down up here. Oh, dang. Minus 34? Wow. My dude got destroyed. He got straight murdered in the one turn. That makes sense. We've got a district range shot from Seoul. We've got Hwacha in there. Hwacha in Yangsan. This is a... Uh, a tough battle we're going to be taking here, dudes. Let's keep going up against the... Ooh, do I go up against the city again? I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I think maybe instead we'll just pillage things out in the countryside. Like, uh, here's some nice gold. We'll take one more step onto the Seowon. I feel like the north side's a little bit friendlier because we don't have this forbidden city that's being built next to all the extra ranged units that are going to kill me. I don't like that. Instead, we can just hang back, pillage out some faith. That's beautiful. 
and then we'll get some gold and some more science next turn on the north side before we go and actually take the city. Luckily, it's also in the seas. Uh, and Akaronia. Do we move the frigate? Do we think the frigate's good defense? I think it's good defensively. I'm glad that Yang Sen's in the seas, just because uh, you're seeing the Sangju conquest is going a whole lot better. It's a lot easier, man. Like this, we'll shoot once with the frigate, bring in the f armada. Nah, a fleet is good enough. And boom, city belongs to me. Let me keep that. Loyalty falling at 22 per turn. Why the heck it's so high? Minus 68. Minus 68 from the Koreans. That is ridiculous. I believe that they're in a golden age. That is why. And Sangju has a uh, campus, so I kind of want it. Dang. Whatever the situation, we got to keep this. We just got to be super fast on the war. So let's reassign Reina to Sangju. Falling at 14 per turn. Take a look at the things in here. Oh, we can buy ourselves a monument. Definitely doing that. And then we move the rest of our lads north to prepare, prepare for the next battle. Inspiration, always good. Dude, I swear I saw my Conquistador take big damage, and then they got healed right back up. Don't know what exactly did that, but thank you very much. We're going to have to face down the barrel. Two watches and a watch core. Dang, all right. Well, we got a pillage of science. We're here for more than just the city. We want to get everything that comes with it. We can use our boats to turn the tides also. Ironclad coming all the way from Nalanda. Cruise on through, buddy. Another frigate, gotta be a safe state. Enough tiles away from any of the districts and whatnot. I see this uh, encampment's kind of screwing me right now, but it is what it is. Archaeological museum complete. I don't yet have the archaeologist, so I think Madrid just makes a spy. Let's check out on the ar archaeologist. When's that coming? I guess we can get that after civil engineering. Fair enough. And now that Nalanda's open, oh my gosh, dude's taking shots all over the place, but I'm glad they're spreading around the love. My dude healed 45? What the heck is going on here? I gotta click on the conquistador dude and see what's happening. Okay, I'm not seeing anything here that's like, oh, your dude's gonna heal to full every single time. That is ridiculous. I will take it though. Final pillage of the campus, I hope. Library? No, there's still more pillaging to do. The reason I say I hope is because I need to actually start working down this city here. We've got a couple shots coming through, ironclads all around. I've got myself a frigate also, but it's not really in range to do stuff. Hmm, yeah, because this little choke point here. The zone of control, dude, you can't just cruise in there into Yang San. It's too bad. Sanju looks like it's going to fall in a few turns, but we'll have to take it right back. And now that Nalanda, we're at war with these guys, so much easier to get my conquistors up to the north. Just cruise right through their lands. I wish we could have just gotten open borders with them in the first place. Like, there has to be some kind of diplomatic way other than fully attacking them to get in there. Alliance has ended. Oh, with Coupe. Let's make sure we keep this friendship. Uh, I don't need this guy fighting me on... Uh, the new continent. The colonies need to stay safe. He'll even give me money to maintain that economic alliance, which is fantastic. Dude's taking shots all over the place. Oh my gosh, dude, this ironclad is low, low, low. Let's retreat them a bit, but there's not really any place they can go because of the zone of control they have in these tiles. My dude cannot escape. This is tough. I can walk right up to this city, though. Let me grab one last pillage. Gonna move up my frigate one time. I should see if I can straight up take it. There we go, 108 health. Uh, Conquistador comes in. Boom! Gang San belongs to me. Another crazy loyalty situation with the Koreans destroying us. It's tough going into this golden age, bruh. I don't know if this is the best choice, but we already made our decisions. We've got to fight off these guys the best we can. Shooting down the watches, of course. And I think i got to double back for San Jun, dude. Dude, the thing's going to fall in just one turn. Let me get all my ironclads outside of the city so that it's safe for when it flips keep the city up north yes yang san is ours down in the south still minus 13 it says spain is getting some uh, population pressure but dude the americans are being useless do you see america on here envoys to send okay i think it is time for distraction man we're gonna grab suzerainty in the back side here give us a bit of vision this guy has literally one line infantry could not be more of a useless city state but at least it's our city state but with that, we got full vision of the Koreans. One, two, three cities to worry about. That is it. Now, the loyalty spewing from them is insane. But if we can juggle these sea cities, so it shouldn't be too hard with our sea prowess. Now that we've gained the sea, it's time to move inland to Seoul. Thanks for watching, Panda Gang. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to actually pay for Windows, so make sure to subscribe. Peace.